hello hello and uh, welcome to this tutorial in which uh, we were supposed to discuss strcpy library function implementation in fact uh, i have made that ready but uh, before that uh, i would like to introduce you to a keyword called restrict now for example if you go to man page of strcpy then this is what you see as signature now this is the old signature c99 specified it like this so you see the use of keyword restrict so we should understand the keyword restrict here now this is formally defined in uh, specification it has a formal definition which is quite big and uh, i would request you to go through this paragraph what I would uh, do is I'll explain the examples. So suppose we have two uh, restrict integer pointers a and b and one integer array with extern scope, extern storage. Then the if the object is accessed using one of a, b or c and that object is modified anywhere in the program then it is never accessed using either of the other two. Now these are for file scope declarations. Now let's talk of uh, this second example. So during the execution of the function if an object is accessed through one of the pointer parameters then it is not also accessed through the other. Now uh, here the benefit is specified. What is the benefit of this? So you see you pass a function, uh, uh, you pass uh, an array d and then you also pass d plus 50 and then uh, 50 is there. Now if you see carefully then if you pass these values to this then this call is valid while this call is invalid. So you cannot access the same uh, pointer through two handles if it is restrict okay now to proceed with the strcpy implementation this is pretty simple you have got a source const char and you have a destination so that i have taken size 10 and initialize that to 0 and then i pass that to strcpy destination and source and then uh, this is the signature. Now why this is extern is because strcpy is a library function and specification imposes a restriction on library functions of C that they should be extern. Their storage class should be extern. That's why I have made them extern. And then I have simply checked uh, as long as uh, the source pointer is not zero. So you go on incrementing and then you do this. And then also you need to do one more thing that is uh, pointer plus plus s1 is equal to backslash 0. So you guarantee that uh, the destination is null terminated. So let us open the shell. Okay. So make strcpy. Okay, then we run it. So source is copied to destination. So that's how you implement uh, this. It is a very small program and very sweet program. Now the key is understanding restrict and extern why these two are there. Restrict and rest extern. And logic is very simple, very simple. You first assign and then increment pointers of both the character pointers. And at the end, you assign uh, backslash 0 to S1 to guarantee that the string is null terminated, as simple as that. So with this, I'll take my leave and I'll see you in my next tutorial in which we will implement STRN CPY. Thanks for watching the video. Happy programming. And by the way, if you have liked this video, then please hit like. Or if you have disliked the, if you dislike the video, then you can as well click dislike. Thanks.